but a gleaming new international marketing symbol was under construction on the shores of Sydney Harbour. In 1958, its cost was estimated at $9.6 million. And by 1969, the estimate had soared to over 85 million. It gave the whole population of Australia, most of whom had never seen an opera, plenty to talk about. Why on earth put opera in a thing like that? Terrific. Ugly. Gee, it's beautiful. What is it? What do you think of it? Interesting. Different. When will it be finished? Oh, that's a good question. Nobody's ever asked that before. <laughs> and how long do you think the job is going to be before you finish it? Well, another three years to go. Three years. Speculation about its completion date inspired a steady stream of comments. Although, it's difficult to conduct an exciting interview with a man called Yawn. Uh, most people don't really, I think, Yawn appreciate the immensity of this project. Aren't we ever going to get there? We got a lot of big the eccentric roof of the Opera House inspired a new model of Australia's own car and even domestic architecture. But as always, our old friend Whelan the Wrecker, with his swinging iron ball, was never far behind. I don't think it'll be as difficult as it looks, because it is a rib structure, and uh, it'll be a bit like carving a roast. I think you'd weaken it at the bottom, and by the use of explosive charges, you'd just go through each rib bit by bit and drop it on top of one. I don't think it'll be as difficult as it looks. Yeah, no, no.